Okay, stand by. Now back to John and Chris and what I learned on Gilcrest Drive. Well, good Monday morning. Let's crush today while everybody is moaning and groaning about it being Monday. You go out there and nail it. All right, guys. Hey, this is uh, Wilson, Middle Georgia Buzz. Now, uh, phone boy's down one Robbins. I'm stuck up and making my cars in the shop. So we are going to uh, call down to our studios in one Robbins and get phone boy on the line for us. Hello. Phone boy. <laughs> That's me. I think. Morning, Buzz. Uh, Wilson and phone boy. We're uh, calling into the studios in one Robbins. Yeah, what's happening? We're just uh, you know just waiting for the storms to pass here and hopefully get back out in the pool and float our glorious asses all over the place. And I have checked the weather forecast, so let's get the weather for everybody first. We got to highs in the 80s, the early part of the week. Not a lot of rain in the forecast. Might not get any. Should be uh, pretty good. Sounds good to me. I, I'll deal with it. What do you think? <laughs> Our weather sponsored by Rain Irrigation Hardscape. So um, I'm reading the, the the news, and this one story kind of grabbed my attention. There's a city in Kentucky that's going to be banning um, children in cars under 21 getting secondhand smoke. I mean, you're not going to be able to smoke cigarettes in your car with your kids anymore. Yeah, now it, I understand that, and. Yeah, if you harken back to the days when we were kids, you know, there was always a cigarette out the window, even at the grocery store or pretty much wherever anyone went. Everybody had a Winston stuck in their mouth. But quite frankly, the Salem was the the smoke of choice for our families. Ooh. Yeah, both our moms were into the Salems. Yeah, they they like to be fresh. Yeah, I never got into the menthols, but now I'm thinking about all the places you could smoke before the can't now. Like uh, you mentioned, grocery stores, airplanes. Um, yeah, you used to be able to smoke on the plane. You know, the the no smoking sign is off. Just imagine, you know, that air recirculated, and you, you rode around in a big metal bus for, you know, sometimes up to four hours, fourteen hours, depending on where you were going, and you know, you just you just smoked your head off. Like riding with our parents, you, they wouldn't even crack the window sometimes for us. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You, the ashtray full of butts, and everybody's just having a big time, you know. Yeah, that ashtray, my mom's ashtray, would literally be spilling over. <laughs> you know, the old Chevy Caprice just stinking. <laughs> mm. Some cars don't even have ashtrays anymore, I guess. No, I now let's you know I bought a I bought a 2013 Chevrolet and there is no ashtray. Now there are what they would call you know some cigarette lighters, but they're only there for you know you know I, I guess. Well, there's those stores, those trucker stores on the highway where they have all those gadgets to go into your cigarette lighter. You know, you can get a little oven you can plug in your cigarette lighter, refrigerators. All sorts yeah, of, you know, <laughs> entertain the lot lizards. A margarita machine. <laughs> <laughs> so riding in cars, smoking in cars with children. I mean, there's there's that. Uh, it gave me an idea. There's that show, riding in cars with comedians. Have you seen that with uh, Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah. So what we should do is just you know just stop on the corners and pick people up. Usually the people I find on the corners, they're smoking anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, we'll stop by the the, the, the junior high or the elementary school, and we'll start it. We'll have our own show. It'll be a on Crackle, too. Riding, smoking in cars with kids will be the name of the show. <laughs> Chances are really good we get arrested for that. but Not until October 21st when the law goes into effect. You oh, see? well, you know, we don't live in Kentucky and we don't live in California. <laughs> I have to remind myself of that fact most of the time because... The weather's just so beautiful, delicious. <laughs> we'll start off with like cigarettes. We'll drive around with the windows rolled up. The kids will be smoking. You know, we'll we'll kind of tell them how the world has beat us down and crushed our soul, and give them some worldly adv- and sage advice. And then we'll work our way up to like cigars. <laughs> A hookah. Now, yeah. I do have a, a <laughs> solid working hookah here at the house, too. We could we could use that. <laughs> Hookahs. Now, it probably would be illegal for us to smoke a joint with the windows rolled up. <laughs> Maybe if we crack the windows, that would be okay. Yeah. Well, now, if, if we were in Colorado, it is only illegal to smoke a joint with kids in the car 
if the windows aren't down. <laughs> we'll smoke some. Each thing we smoke will be more outlandish than the previous thing. We'll be like smoking tires or something in there at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, but we could start a tire fire in the back seat, or, you know, just if we lived in Crawford County, we could just, you know, just have a rolling meth lab, and then when it catches on fire, we could just continue on our business and pretend like nothing happened. Smoking in cars with kids coming uh, this fall on Fox. Hey, uh, we still have a contest going on, folks. Uh, send us a, a picture of your lunch, and whoever has the worst lunch, you pick up a $20 gift certificate to Dex- Texas Border Grill, Houston Road. Sweet. That's right. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I had some dinner, the, did dinner Damn, I had some dinner there last night, and oh. it was delicious. What'd you get? I had a, a big, giant cheeseburger covered with Swiss and, you know, lots of tasty, melty mushrooms. Mm. It was nice. Did you get some of those uh, smashed potatoes again? Those are good. I always eat those smashed potatoes. Well, send us those pictures, facebook.com slash middle Georgia buzz, and look for us online, thebuzz.cf. Thank you, phone boy. Good to be here. As always, the Morning Buzz and all of its contents are proudly brought to you by Rain Irrigation, saving water, conserving the future. Call us at 973-4160 for all of your irrigation needs. Welcome to No Loitering in the Corridor. If you're often delayed or even interrupted by people clogging the hallway, this is the radio program for you. Hello, this is Simon Wellington Bottom for the No Loitering in the Corridor Foundation. For years, my progress was impeded by blokes loitering in the corridor. So I created the first ever foundation for people against loitering in the corridor. In 1734, the first ever reported instance of loitering in the corridor was recorded. Since then, people have had to adjust their walking rhythm and hold their contempt. This is West Manchester's longest-running, long-form public affairs service broadcast. Now get out of the hallway, because for the next seven hours, there is no loitering in the corridor. Hey, Wilson here, Middle Georgia Buzz. Time for our Pranky Anchor of the Day. We're using the ALF soundboard. What is a soundboard? Basically, it's a web page with pre-recorded voice clips of celebrities. In this case, we're using the voice of Alf. Remember the TV show Alf from the 80s about the hairy alien? So we're using his voice to prank phone call an apartment complex we used to live at. We're calling their maintenance department. We got a little problem. Thank you for calling. Maintenance. Hello, operator. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Well, I need you to come out here. What's going on? This is an emergency. Okay, well, who am I say call? Give me the fire department, or the police, or the paramedics. Somebody. I don't care. You decide. Okay, what, what's the apartment number? 8531. Okay, and your first and last name, sir? Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza? Yes. Spell that for me, sir. Yeah. Could you Sancho spell that for me? Panza. Could you spell that for me, sir? I have no idea. What's your phone number? Five 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 four zero four four three one three one. Thank you for calling emergency maintenance. What is your emergency? There's a giant cockroach trying to kill me. <laughs> well, I need you to come out here. Hello, operator. Hello. This is an emergency. Who may I say is calling? Sancho Panza. Okay, now was this a serious emergency or was this a joke? Hi, this is Alf. Finally, a diet plan that works. No restrictions and amazing results. Eat what you want, never exercise, and lose weight fast. With Honey Boo Boo's all new Tapeworm Trim Down. I wish I had an extra finger, then I can grab my cheese ball. Just take a few Honey Boo Boo Tapeworm Trim Down larvae before eating. The worms will burrow into your digestive tract, feeding on your nutritional intake. These friendly guys will eat the calories so you don't have to. Pizza, pasta, meatloaf, an entire side of bacon. Eat what you like and all you like. 
Look for Honey Boo Boo Tapeworm Trim Down at gas stations, truck stops, strip clubs, and wherever white trash gather. Hola, gringo americanos. Come to Venezuela, the land of the fun and the sun and the adventures. Don't worry about the lack of toilet paper, which is a real thing in Venezuela. We treat foreigners like one of our own. Don't worry, Hugo Chavez is dead. And detention of foreign nationals down 25%. Though. Hey, those are good odds. Venezuela, you'll come for the food, culture, and natural beauties. Stay for the sweet taste of political freedom. All right, time for the Middle Georgia Buzz Cut of the Week. In the early 1980s, a music revolution was underway in Athens, Georgia. B-52s, REM, and a band called Pylon. The members were all art students at the University of Georgia. They formed in 1978, and this song was actually covered by REM, so you should recognize Pylon and Crazy. It's our Buzz Cut of the Week.